Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come, 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 come again, again, again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. Look at this stuff. It's all I, I thought have so left. much of City 17 that I elected to establish all right, I'm moving. my administration here. Were you the only ones on that train? The Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I have been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Where are you taking me? Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I bought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here. In the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. This must be a mistake. I got a, I got a, I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. that beer I owed you. 
It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better... I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, G Gordon. Vast meteorological intelligences, worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions. Intersect. intersect. Yeah, yeah. Impossible, Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself? If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a Combine. <laughs> huh. Dr. Breen. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, Maybe you'll do it for one of them. Uh. 
Alex. I need... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go! That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or...? Will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <coughs> How dare you even mention her! Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your port. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. Listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? <sighs> Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Well, thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned about. Hey, I listen. Can still deliver Earth, but not without your help. That's him. The portal destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. There's no way I can survive in that environment. A host body? You must be joking. I can't possibly... There he is! Oh, all right. Damn it, if that's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Oh, shit. Damn it! Not again! The gravity gun. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue, does he? I wonder where he's going. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. <laughs> 